Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. So in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to turn a day shot into a night shot within a few steps in DaVinci Resolve and it's very easy. Coming up. Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews, but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. So in this video, we are taking a closer look in how to turn a day shot into a night shot and it's really easy. If I can do it, you can do it also. So we, I'm gonna take you through it right now. Before you start recording, just uh, take into account a couple things. The first thing is that you set your white balance to a cooler temperature. So something like 3000 will work best. So that way your footage will already have like a bluish tint and it will make it easier when color grading. The second tip is that you should not overexpose anything. So if your model or talent is wearing a white shirt, something like that, usually the moonlight is very flat and not so harsh. So therefore try to a little bit underexpose if possible. And the third tip is also really important. Please shoot only when you have full cloud coverage because when you're shooting uh, in the middle of the day and the sun is outside, you really have a high contrast and really harsh shadows, which you typically don't have when shooting outside at night. So therefore, make sure to do these three things. So just now, let's jump into the computer and look how we're gonna do that. So now we are inside of Resolve and just to show you the difference, I've shot it in RAW and now normally I would have exposed and um, yeah, set my color temperature to that. But if you don't have the option in RAW, just to show you the difference, it's really important. So if I set my white balance back now to 3200, we already have a blue, bluish image. Um, maybe adjust the tint and then also adjust the ISO to 80 we already have a pretty much uh, pretty better starting point. So just make sure um, that you capture that accordingly. So first things first, we're gonna go, um, yeah, uh, make this first node as exposure. So just name that one exposure real quick, something like that. And just pull down the offset wheel basically until it looks dark. <laughs> then also adjust the gamma something like that so then also the next thing would be to turn down the saturation a little bit and also the contrast because when you're shooting at night you don't have too much vivid colors something like that and also not too much contrast so therefore i have ju i adjusted that um so therefore just to make sure um saturation contrast Okay, now I go, go go back into the first note and make it still a little bit darker. Something like that looks nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna create my third note. I'm gonna label that blue look. And I'm gonna go into the temperature slider and yeah, minus 1000 already looks quite nice. <laughs> But I uh, already um, do it much more until I go into the gamma and push more blue into the image. Um, that one doesn't look really convincing, but we're gonna fix that in the next node. So create a next node. I'm gonna name luminance first is saturation and that's exactly what we're gonna do so we're gonna need to pull out a little bit of the blue tint of the shadows so that it looks much more natural so we go into the curves and on the fifth page i think it is one two three four yeah the fifth page you're gonna find luminance versus saturation go to the darker part and just pull it down to something that you like and looks convincing to you i think i like this one much much better than before yes much better and already we have done a pretty good job and if we are okay with that we can leave it like that but we can also improve it just a bit by um, replacing the sky so i'm gonna drop in my sky replacement image pull it over on top of each other make sure that it yeah that they are the same length highlight them make right click and 
new fusion clip. So now we're gonna go into fusion real quick and don't be afraid, it's gonna be really straightforward and easy. So first things first, we're gonna need to make sure which one media in the media two is what here. So therefore I go into the second that I can see both images and I drop media one. Okay, okay, now I know media one is the car. Just to don't get confused over time, I'm gonna rename it to car. Hit okay. And just for the sake of that everything is complete, I'm gonna name the sky sky. Something like that. Now I'm gonna move into the single view image. And uh, the one thing that is uh, not what we want to change here is currently the sky is marked as our foreground. So everything that is uh, connected to the green arrow here is gonna be the foreground and the yellow is gonna be the background. You're gonna see it right here. Um, so I'm gonna move my, yeah, now already my car is my background and the sky is gonna be the background. So now nothing is happening, happening really. So we're gonna need to add our effect. So just mark or highlight the car clip, All right? So pull out the effects panel um, by the arrow up and uh, space, uh, space key. And then I will search for Luma here, hit add. And now it doesn't look really convincing at all. Uh, the, f the thing you wanna do is hit invert. Um, and then it looks much better. But before that, I'm gonna fix the sky real quick because I wanna move the sky up so that it's basically a little bit aligns more with the, the, the trees here, with the mountains there. So um, yeah, so mark the sky and then put in the effect transform. Where is it? That one. And I will increase the size just tiny bit and now I'm gonna move it up something like that and yes so now go to the luma key hit invert and as we can see on the, here on the bottom we see that we have like this pattern of the yeah not existing background so what we're gonna need to do is uh, to play with the slider here so first we're gonna play with the darker tones and that will bring back the darker tones of our original car shot so i'm gonna leave it like that and now we are affecting the highlights so if we drag that down more and more we're gonna get more and more of our yeah basically um of our sky um but I like the cloud ca coverage that we have here. So I really like that we also can see the clouds still. So I think like just that we see the stars a little bit through is probably really nice. Just gonna adjust the blur here a tiny bit. So something like that I think already looks nice. So now we're gonna adjust it that. I think it looks really nice and we can even uh, make it a little bit better. And, and to do that, we're gonna go back into color and we wanna bring in some lights into the back light of the car and to the front light of the car. Actually, when I've shot this, they were turned on, but uh, because the exposure difference between the sky and the back light of the car is so different, so you can't see the car light anymore. So we're gonna try to bring it back a little bit. So just open here up a window mask, the round one. And yeah, just drag it over to the tail light of the car, something like that. So now I will bring up the offset to something like that. And I will also bring up the gain, something like that. And I will add quite a few red into this image here. So, and already it looks a little bit better than before, I think. Even increase more the gain, something like that. So and to make it even better, we're gonna hop over to open effects and then go to resolve FX light. Gonna go into glow. 
And then now the shine threshold, we're gonna move that down. And we're gonna see what it does. Makes it a little bit more hazy, uh, which is quite helpful. Also the spread, I'm gonna adjust something like that. I turn up the brightness and now I colorize it to make that red even more. And now I'm gonna play with the opacity. Um, and we can also do the same with the front. Just open up another power window, make it smaller and bring it up like this shape, make it smaller, maybe turn it a little bit, feather it like a ton. So, and now I'm gonna bring up the offset of that here and also the gain, make it a little bit warmer. And I think already these two layers do add a lot, especially the one in the front right here just makes it in my opinion a little bit more realistic so yeah that was basically it i hope this was really helpful to you and i'm really excited how it worked out for you just tell me in the comments below and if you like this video please like subscribe you know how that game works and i'm gonna see you in my very next video cheers